We're going to attempt at organizing the Pez bookshelves today. They are a little messy. <laughs> I used all these Pez on this side to shoot the 2023 Pez release guide video. I need to hang up some carded Pez on my rack and maybe bring up some other Pez items from downstairs on the display or that I have in storage and put them here on the shelf. I've been looking forward to working on the Pez bookshelves for a couple weeks now, so we better get started. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? This is already all the boxes and stuff that we have to open for the live stream. Roxy! <laughs> she likes boxes. Wants to chew on them. But it's already a pretty big stack. And we still have a few days to the live stream, so stay tuned and join us on the live stream if you want to see what's inside those boxes. I think first up I need to take most of these and put them in my little storage bin there and take them down. I might end up bringing more stuff back up, but I need to figure out, you know, what I have here. Some of these have spots down on the big display already, so I don't want to leave them in here. But some of the stuff might end up staying in here. We'll see. I guess let's start with that. <laughs> it's kind of tight in here, so we'll see how this shot works. I already have these pens I need to take back down that I brought up for the video, but I didn't actually end up using them. So these all need to go back downstairs. May I put a few too many pads in here? What do you think? <laughs> I think they're okay. Let's go downstairs and uh, put some of these away. I guess all of them away. Some of these that are still up here go on that side of the room. And then there's also some Christmas pads over there. I don't know if I should squeeze anything else in this. So on this side, I still have my Christmas pads out. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's been busy, so I haven't had time to put it away and I really like the Santa reindeer display that Caitlin and I made this year. I hate to put that away but maybe I'll put it over there behind me on the bookshelves. Also some of these have candy in them so I need to check them before I just put them away. So many pens I have so far. <laughs> and I guess I could put a couple things over there real quick. I have these panda gathering pens. This one goes up on this shelf. It's like one of, uh oh, it's like one of my favorite. It's gotta be one of my favorite like newer pens of all time. Super cool. <laughs> and then this Finland one. I have all my Panda Gathering Pez in this little area. So, it's still. Now it's looking kind of bare. I usually keep this white and blue one up here. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. I had these like, uh, I have these custom ones up here, but of course now I don't have my ladder. Gosh. Oh my gosh, they're gonna fall. They're gonna fall. Oh my gosh. Uh, I need to go get my step ladder, I think. I can reach most stuff, but there's a shelf up there I can't reach. And then I'll put these up here for now. So I remember to move them. And then these two, 
my two fun custom ones. Maybe I'll put them up here too. Because those are like this little area is some custom ones and then some like body parts. Okay, for now, I'm gonna leave these up here and now I'll come back to these. Oh look, I need those. The sour <laughs> the sour pineapple candy is up here still. Put those with the sour pineapple pez, which I just put in here. Let's go take these all down before they get smushed. It should be fine, but this is all newer pez, so not too worried. It's really durable. It's the vintage stuff you have to be careful with. Let's go down. Well, here we are at my giant pez display. And a lot of the stuff that I took upstairs for the video was sitting on the display, so I'm gonna start with putting those back first. You'll see there's some holes. <laughs> and uh, some hole, hole back there. Some like weird random holes in this shelf. <laughs> One here, there, and some princesses missing. And, uh, hmm. uh, some more little random holes here and there. But uh, let's put these up back on the shelf here. Okay, well, the reason I can't find Peppa Pig or Paw Patrol. <laughs> okay, why can't I find them? Peppa Pig, Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig, Paw Patrol. I have Paw Patrol crystals up here. And you know there's a Peppa Pig section. Hmm. Roxy, do you see Peppa Pig? <laughs> Roxy came to help. Did you come to help, Rocksters? I don't. Why can't I find Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig? Where did I put those? Oh wait, there. Peppa Pig. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Peppa Pig. I just found it. It's on the Hello Kitty shelf. There. Okay, so Susie's sheep needs to go on that shelf. Somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, my organizational skills are not very good. Can you start running out of room? Okay. This is a sheep. We'll sit there. Ow! I actually get nibbled. <laughs> oh, baby girl. I know she, she just wants me to play. I know you don't want me to make videos. I know. Okay, well, where's Paw Patrol? Roxy, find Paw Patrol and then we'll be done faster. Why can't I find Paw Patrol? <laughs> Ow. Do I not have them open? Did I make a Paw Patrol video? I don't even remember. I know it's so mean. Mama, quit making videos. Come play with me. I want to play. 
I know you're so cool. I thought I had them open. Hmm. Okay, they're gonna be in here. I'm just not seeing them. I thought I checked all the shelves. I don't know. Hmm. Unless they're upstairs in the studio or something. What the heck? See, I would think that there would be like on one of these shelves here, but I just totally missing them. <laughs> Crystal, I don't know. Okay. Well, definitely not down here. I have them open. They might be in my office or something. Or in the studio, so. Okay, well, I had the little Liberty Dog needs buddies. For some reason, I don't think I have the dope. I don't have the treats down here either. I have like the treats with the sayings, but I think the treats, the other treats without the sayings are up in my office. So maybe I need to like, Get the stuff out of my office that's not duplicates and bring them down here. Okay, and then <laughs> these pads have candy in them, these four. And I don't know if any of these are special, so I think these are all doubles too. I do have a double nutcracker with the Pez Play code on it. And then I also have this mystical crystal ball that I need to put it with the other ones that I got recently. I need to just move that. And this one's gonna go over here in the display case. There's another one that I got recently. I think I'm gonna put this one down here now, at least for now because I have a couple other Pez and Tubes, the Christmas ones. I think it looks kind of cool down here. Let's see. And then the Pez racks over there. I need to bring those Pez over here. Let's see. this one back up on the shelf with the box so all these here are gonna go on the shelf on the rack over there there's another Santa oh that one has I think this is a dupe too so I have a couple of these the Pez play cones here <laughs> um oh i took all the disney 100 years upstairs so i was gonna put them in the 2023 video better just doing dispensers i could almost do like a 2023 video known variations because you know that happens but i guess for now i'll hang uh do some of this stuff here I always rearrange it but for now Gonna put them on here. Put the poop on. Oh. <laughs> and then, wait, where am I? So I should put all the trucks together, but like when you run out of room, it's like, eh, where do you put them? I don't know. Okay. And then <laughs> the ghost. This is a good ghost. Uh, put that there. And then. some trolls and then uh, oh here's my other cool oh the ghost and the Halloween uh, care bear 
This is a reindeer on card with the little pets play phone. A Tether National Mickey. Cool. Okay, this needs to go back up with the other 100 Years of Wonder Pets, I think. I think that's a double. That might be my only double. I need to go through them and check them. Could put the... Let's see how these look here. So that's the Earth. It's pretty good. That shelf. And then... I don't know, some of these... I keep forgetting to bring down shoes. So I'm going to bring down some shoes. Oh, here's the, this is the newer release without the base. I'm gonna go just put that in here. So we got the new one that they re-released. They must have found a, a box or two of these crystal balls. The blue crystal ball with the, with the stand and then the gold crystal ball stars with the stand and then the earth. So those are pretty fun. And then over here, I did put up the pop, the pop pens up there, the Freddy Funko, and then the Christmas office. Oh, and the Five Nights at Freddy's are I guess, still upstairs. I need to grab those. But these are all of my, most of my Funko pop pens, not all of them. Almost all of them though are down here in these cases. I mean, there's still tons of pens here I need to organize. But like I said, I didn't bring down my sh shoes for them, so I need to do that. Some of these go in like the panda case. <laughs> and I don't even know, I have so many pandas and like almost all of these, there's something different about them. So there's not a lot of duplicates in here. There might be a couple duplicates like in these two little stands, but most of these, like in the back, no, on this side, they're all different. So I need to figure out where I'm gonna put a couple of these. Like I have a red-headed panda and a light yellow pen. Was it the light yellow? What is it? Oh, this was one uh, great guy on eBay for a really good price. He cleaned it up and it looks really good. But it has the yellow sleeve. So I need to see, does my other one have that yellow sleeve in it? Hmm. back there. But I need to bring down some shoes. Whoa. Oh yeah, this is like the same pose. I'm missing one here. What am I missing? There's a pose missing in that spot. I guess let's take this back up and see what else I can bring down or what I need to bring up or vice versa. But I feel like I'm making a good dent in this. This is good progress. What am I missing? I think I moved my witch pez here. There's some holes. So maybe I could put some other vintage ones up on this shelf. These aren't all my pez pals. A lot of them are in the studio too, which I don't know if I like how they're separate, but I like having some of my like these are white face nurse and doctor pez pals. I don't like keeping those up in the studio. They think they're safer down here. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, let's go upstairs. Oh, before I do, I did want to point out, talking about variations of pez. So this one here was uh, probably in the Pez Advent calendar last year. I don't remember exactly, but it has the Pez Play coat on it, so that's probably where I got it. But the stem is more of like an off-white. Check out the one we got this year. Well, this isn't probably the best lighting. <laughs> but this one here, the stem is really bright white, and it also has the Pez Play code on it. And let me put them up here. Do you see the difference? The one on the left is the previous year, and the one on the right is the new one. See how it's more yellow versus really bright white? Thanks Kmart for pointing that out. So 
thought that was pretty cool. So now I have them both. So if you ever see any like slight variations on your Pez, especially if Pez releases like the new ones over and over for, you know, a few years and you go to the store and you buy a new one and you compare it with the ones you already have, you know, let me know the variations, even if it's just like slight, you know, pink color variation or, or if the white is more yellow than like a bright white, anything like that. It's pretty cool to know. And plus I can share it with everyone else because there's a lot of variation collectors that you know, like to nitpick the Pez and buy every little single variation. I have some, but I don't probably have them all, but there's a lot of people who get really into it. <laughs> it's pretty cool because all the Pez down here, there's one up in my studio. I have a older Santa up in my studio that I recently got, but all those ones there on the front row from the reindeer to this uh, crystal Christmas tree, they all have the Pez Play Code apps on the bottom, which is pretty neat. Let's head upstairs. Okay, it's looking pretty empty here, which is good. Some of these go on the other side of the room, so let's grab those. With the Pokemon. <laughs> I keep these Pokemon dispensers up there. So here we have the shelves a little bit more empty. I do have a couple more things I probably could put on the other side of them. Got the Care Bears, the Ahsoka. Zuko goes in my office, I think. Usually keep Ahsoka up here. Keep Ahsoka up here on my little shelf above my desk. Uh, Freddy up here, <laughs> and then these couple of Looney Tunes, Daffy and Sylvester, I keep up here with the Looney Tunes. Well, here's my other Santa, the one I got, and then it has the Pez Play code there on the bottom. I need to scan this one still. Oh, my big I forgot to take this one down. <laughs> this goes on the big Pez rack. They're on one of my, I think, smaller ones, actually. Well, here's my Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm gonna put these up here for a little bit. Cause I didn't really get to enjoy them too much, even though they're Christmas. And then uh, I need to put these Avatar ones back in their little cases. Did you watch my Avatar Pez video? It's on the channel if you haven't seen it. I have a new Superman I need to do a video about. Some cherry Pez candy. Did you see the new Cherry Pez candy? Pez curls that were released today? Let's go check that out real quick. So here we go. I woke up this morning and I saw that Pez posted that the Cherry Pez Presenter Girl was released today on Pez.com and Pez.ht. So if you live here in the United States, you can buy from Pez USA. If you live outside of the United States, maybe you can buy from Pez International, depending on where you live. But this is super cute. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's 
a little puss girl. Let's see if I can blow her up here. And it says that she's Team Cherry, limited edition. Comes with three packs of Puss candy, limited to three per household. So they're still for sale. It is Monday night here. Let me refresh this. Yeah, they're still for sale. So they're not, they must have made more than they made for like the Pez Space Shuttle. But if you want to get one of these, I highly suggest getting one now because they will sell out. But I love it because check this out. I mean, right next to my desk, I have this really cool Pez art. It's the Disney one. And I mean, that little Pez girl looks exactly like <laughs> this one. And what's even cooler is what is above here. So check, okay, let me grab these real quick. And you're gonna go, oh yeah, you might have these in your collection already. These are the Funko Pop Pez girls. And this is the blonde haired one. And Funko and Pez, they only made 2,000 of these blonde ones. And 2,000 of the brown haired ones. I mean, look at that face. So let me show you side by side. There you go. So pretty similar, not, you know, 100%, but pretty similar. The fact that she's on my poster and you might have these other Funko Pops too. I have these up here. The Pez girl, there's blonde hair and a brown hair. There's a red haired one here too. So but what's even cooler is that here's Pez International's website and they say Pez Special Retro Girl Cherry Retro Girl Collection. And check out their card. It's the same Pez dispenser, but different card. I love the graphics on this. Looks so retro. <laughs> and then on here though, it shows it shows a black haired girl, a blonde haired girl, and then like a brown haired girl. And it says click them all. So, I mean, that's, that's a teaser right there. We're gonna get three Pez girls total. And I don't know anything, you know, like when these are gonna be released or anything, but you know, if Pez just released this blonde one, maybe we'll get the rest of them throughout the year. I don't know, what do you guys think? And Pez International, they also have a limit, but you can get five per person. And they're still not sold out on Pez International's website either. So hopefully you can get one. I think these are pretty cool. I can't wait to get mine. <laughs> what do you guys think of the new Pez Retro Girl? The cherry one. So I'm guessing since this one's cherry that the top one's probably going to be lemon and then the bottom one's probably going to be orange because like, there's lemon, orange, and cherry candy in this one. So I mean that's pretty good I think guess on my end. I don't know. And then the USA one just comes with cherry candy and there's no teaser on the card. I don't know why they don't ever match. I mean the graphics on this is cute. But I think the graphics on this one is super cool. <laughs> okay, let's check out this pizza Pez because I do have like a small collection of Pez up here in my office. I have some food. Okay, I do have the food ones up here. Oh, I guess maybe I need to put the donut one up here or maybe I need to take these. Maybe it's time to take these down and put them on the shelf, but I really like them up here. Most of these up here are doubles. Some of them are not. Actually, a lot of them are not doubles. <laughs> now that I'm looking at them, like these crayons, I only have one. These cactus, these icy bears, and these care bears. These are doubles with the sayings on them. Like I accidentally bought too many sets of those. And then the little mini Harry Potter ones. Those are the only ones I have. I think these Harry Potter ones might be doubles. But apparently those treats are not doubles because I can't find any down on my main shelf. And then like the Pez up there on the top two rows are doubles. That's my Five Nights at Freddy's. These Harry Potter ones are doubles so I could open them. These two probably should go back down on my shelf. The Grogu's with the Sains. All these over here, I'm pretty sure are doubles. One other thing I wanted to do, brought a trash bag up. <laughs> before I close out the video is show you the 
down here. I do have, hmm, I thought maybe I should hang some of these up here because they are really cool. Like these Christmas ones. So we have Grogu, but these really nice Christmas pads on the cards. I thought maybe I should hang these up. Then I can appreciate them for, you know, a year or whatever, and then I can always change them out, but. So, Ariel. So if you didn't go to Walmart this past Christmas, and find these. That's where I got them from. So there's the princess ones, there's the Mickey, there's Marble. So it's Black Panther and then Iron Man. And then these <laughs> Pokemon ones are some of my favorite. Oh my god, okay wait, this is super cool, okay. <laughs> Pikachu and Pokeball. Okay, that's super cool. I got an empty box. And then also, I thought I should hang up here on my new rack. The I have the Disney 100 Years Pez. I thought since it's still... Wait, is it still... Yeah, I guess it's still the 100 Year, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna hang these up here. I never showed all of them on the channel, so let's go through real quick. Minnie Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Socks. There's a light ear. There's this Jake bird that I never can remember its name. <laughs> There's Mufasa. Okay. Am I missing one? Pumbaa. Genie from Aladdin. Dory from Finding Nemo. I feel like I'm missing one. R2D2. Darth Vader. Elsa from Frozen, Mandalorian, and Grogu, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing, oh wait, here's Chewbacca. I know that I've seen a uh, Jake Pirate, I think at World Market, I need to go check my footage. If you have any of these Disney 100 years pez on these cards, any that I don't have, let me know in the comments below. But I want to get them all. I think they're super cool. Because I think they're only selling for a year, which now I'm thinking about it, maybe the 100 year celebration was 2023? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have some... Okay, wait. Did I already hang these up? Okay. So I showed you the, the blue mini. This is the pink one. Uh, found these aren't in any certain order. <laughs> Wait, did I have Bell? Oh, I have must have. I have two of Bell. I don't know why. Oh, was she dented? Oh yeah. Wait. I don't know. For some reason I have two Bell. I feel like one of them might have got dented or something. I'll have to look later here. And then I have my. New Grogu from 2023, Joy to the Galaxy. I'm gonna hang these up higher. <laughs> up to Snow Good. Oh my gosh, how many? I have a couple extra of these too because I got one from a Secret Santa. Hmm. And how many of these do I have? Could it be I bought three of them? <laughs> Okay, I have a lot of those polar bears for some reason. I have this um, Grill and Chill limited edition one. Pretty cool. And then my Trick or Sweet Care Bear. The one with the busted bubble. Pez didn't care to send me a new one, so I have a really busted up one. <laughs> then I think I'm pretty sure I have this extra branch Pez because I was going to open it. So maybe I'll put this one up here because I need to make some videos. So this shelf, and then I have Chewbacca, R2D2, and this new Superman. Those are all new pets I need to make videos about. This is a double, so I'll put 
put this one over here. Cool, my Pezrak is actually starting to look nice. <laughs> and my shelf doesn't look so crazy anymore. I need to take these tins down. They're my Disney 100 years tins. I took the Pez out, they're in my office. Whoa! If you watched my live streams, you would have seen me get an unbox this a couple weeks ago. This is super cool. A box. It's not a full set, but these are the Peeps Pez. There's a yellow one. And see how they're in the bags? They're not on card. I think that's super cool. Pink one. And then there's these green bags. There's a blue Peep and a pink Peep in the bag. So I think there's three of each. And then a yellow in the green bag and then there's a blue one. Like this is super cool because so far I've only ever seen these peeps on cards but Sunny uh, watches the channel. I traded Sunny for some Pez and I got this box set. So I thought this was super cool to add to the collection. So if you don't watch our live streams, that's where I unbox a lot of new Pez here on the channel. But if you want to see what I get, you know, every week, Greg and I, my husband, we do the live stream here on YouTube and we unbox like so many Pez every week. Like check out what we got this past week. So I have this little Aaron Clux Pez stand that we use in the live stream, but all these vintage Pez here, we unboxed during the live stream this past week. And this thing is super cool. It's a psychedelic hand and it's brown. But the plastic on there is totally marble, so it looks kind of like green and brown mixed together. It's so cool. Love this thing. Another really cool piece we got this past week is this Goofy. And it's a Goofy on a USA Blue Stem. Which I just think this is like so cool. I love it. But we got all these, like these are USA stems for the Maharaj and the police. The pony, I think is an Austrian stem. We got two long chin clowns. This Donald Duck on an orange USA stem. A yappy dog. Uh, one of these ponies we got the week before. I think it's just here we're comparing it. And then another monkey sailor. But we also got this monkey sailor on the live stream. And it's a light blue USA stem. But if you would have watched the live stream, you would have saw how gross this thing looked. It had some kind of weird, like, uh, coloring on the bottom. So Greg put it in the black light rubbing alcohol or what? I thought I asked him again. I can't remember now. <laughs> but he puts the Pez in there and it takes the stuff off the top of the plastic. I don't know, but it looks really really good so if you would have saw this on the live stream i was like oh like, that looks gross like why did you buy that but it looks super good now so that was a really cool buy so it's a monkey sailor on the light blue usa piston which is super super cool and then i need to clean <laughs> a little bit but the room is looking so much better Let's put all this stuff away real quick. working on my Smurfs video. I did find a really good Smurf on eBay yesterday and I bought it. It was a buy it now and I can't believe that I actually found one because someone didn't list it under Smurfs. I just happened to come across it. So also did you check out my 
Lego live streams. I built this really cool Lego astronaut in preparation to add the astronaut Pez to the little scene. So that was really fun to work on. There's a live stream. There's three live streams of me building this. So you can go watch those videos if you didn't watch them already. And I've been doing the Snackles. <laughs> Which they're super cute, but I still haven't gotten the Pez Luna Cat spoilers. So, hmm, I don't know if I will. But I have one left and I bought a couple more online. It should be here tomorrow. So I should have enough to keep the series going here on the channel. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully, this is what I see when I'm sitting over here. You enjoyed this video? I feel like I got a lot cleaned up and organized. It feels really nice to have, you know, the Pez organized and some more on display and hanging some stuff on my new rack. I really like that. But I need to figure out, tell me in the comments what I should put in this spot. Is there any Pez that you want me to put up here? I can bring some stuff up from the big display or I can move something around. But let me know, cause this is like the prominent spot. I guess the next holiday coming up is Valentine's Day and then Easter. I usually put holiday Pez up here, but it could be anything. So comment down below if there's something you wanna see in this area. <laughs> I think I made really good progress today. So check back, maybe I'll make an update video on Thursday here on the channel and show you. Cause I do wanna keep, you know, displaying some Pez over there and keeping it kind of empty, but I have some ideas. So I guess I'll see you Thursday for the video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye. Left on the shelf Full of dust You'll know it's me And from nobody